Nothing in this podcast or on our website should be construed as medical advice. Consult your healthcare provider for your individual nutritional and medical needs. The information presented is based on our research and is strictly that of the author and not necessarily those of any professional group or other individual. Hi, I'm Sue Becker from Bread Beckers. Welcome to Sue's Healthy Minutes. I'm so excited you've joined me today, and I hope this episode encourages you and allows you to find the answers you have been praying for, for the health of you and your family. Today on Sue's Healthy Minutes, I would like to address the concerns of the recent approval by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for growing a genetically modified strain of wheat here in the United States. The news came to my attention while in Montana visiting our grain supplier. I spoke with the owner and we both agreed that this was a concern, but wanted to gather more information on the subject as so much misinformation about wheat is often published. I had hoped to address this topic later once we knew a little more specifics, but I have received so many inquiries about it that I decided I would go on and share what I do know. On August 27th, 2024, the U.S. Department of Agriculture deregulated restrictions for growing wheat with the HB4 drought resistant trait. Unfortunately, drawing praise from many wheat grower associations who are actually hoping for commercial production to follow. HB4 wheat is genetically modified through the introduction of the HB4 gene from sunflowers. This gene naturally gives sunflowers the ability to withstand drought by encouraging actual changes in the plant when water is scarce and drought conditions are prevalent. The HB4 wheat was actually developed more than 18 years ago and is owned and sold by Biosiris Crop Solutions, an Argentine company. Biosiris Crop Solutions obtained approval in 2020 to grow HB4 wheat in Argentina, who officials reported a 43% increase in yield under drought conditions. They then gained approval to sell the flour made from this HB4 wheat in Brazil in 2021, followed by approval in Colombia, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, Nigeria, Thailand, Indonesia, and Chile. Biosiris Crop Solutions applied to the USDA in September of 2022 for approval for cultivation in the U.S. At that time, the USDA did not approve its cultivation in the United States, but did approve the import of HB4 grain for food and feed. A delegation of representatives from the U.S. Wheat Farmers Association traveled to Argentina in 2022 and told Biosiris that they welcome this type of technology. Since most wheat in the United States is grown without irrigation, drought is a major concern here. At the same time, This same delegation, though, expressed concerns about the exportation market of U.S. wheat. The United States is one of the largest exporters of wheat in the world, and some countries have significant resistance about introducing genetically modified wheat into their markets. The approval of HB4 wheat by so many other countries seems to be a driving force to open the door to the approval in the U.S. What has been a prohibiting factor for protection, for preventing the cultivation of genetically modified wheat in the U.S. seems to be breaking down quickly and should be concerning to us all. For years, I have been able to confidently say there is no genetically modified wheat currently being cultivated commercially in the United States. And for now, we can still say that. It is important to understand that the approval process is different than commercialization. This approval by the USDA certainly provides a pathway to future commercialization of the HB4 wheat in the United States. However, 
The scientific process is lengthy, and it is unlikely that this genetically modified wheat will be commercially grown or available for at least three to five years. According to the U.S. Wheat Association, there is no known HB4 wheat present in the United States in any capacity at this time. Keywords here are at this time, as well as no known. So I repeat, for now, we can still confidently say at this time, there is no genetically modified wheat currently being grown commercially in the United States. But the words no known should keep us watchful and cause us to pray. We must know our sources and read labels. When in doubt, buy organic. Bread Beckers remains confident in our suppliers of grains and beans, and we will continue to endeavor to stay informed and to bring you only the best. I hope today's episode puts to rest any fears you may have of our present wheat supply and know that there are powers that can intervene on our behalf. The scriptures tell us in 1 Timothy 2, 1 and 2, to pray for all of those in authority over us so that we may live a peaceful and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. So let's keep praying for God's protection over our food supply, especially our wheat, the most nutrient-dense food God has given us, and pray about how to respond wisely. I have listed the resources for today's podcast episode in today's podcast description. As always, I want to thank you for listening today. And until next time, this is Sue Becker from Bread Becker's with Sue's Healthy Minutes. Sue's Healthy Minutes podcast has been a presentation by the Breadbeckers Incorporated located in Woodstock, Georgia. For more information, store hours, and learning opportunities, visit breadbeckers.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast and never miss an episode. Share this with two friends who would benefit from this information and be sure to join us again next week for more of Sue's Healthy Minutes.